Think about this in the context of trickle-down economics. Isaac Newton was born December 25th, I can't remember the year, but a long time ago. Uh, and what he has done, his discoveries, have changed the world. They have trickled down, or more accurately, flooded down to all the rest of us who are not geniuses, who are not anywhere near as creative and as productive and as smart as Isaac Newton was. But Isaac Newton has made all of our lives better. They could not have been an industrial revolution without Isaac Newton. They could not have been a technological revolution today without Isaac Newton. Very few of the bridges that you see out there could have been built without Isaac Newton. We certainly wouldn't have gone to the moon without Isaac Newton. We wouldn't have any, 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 any of the material goods that we have today without having an Isaac Newton. Talk about trickle doubt. Isaac Newton made all of our lives, hundreds of years later, much, much better off than they would have been because of his discoveries, because of what he did. That is the essence of trickle-down. I don't like the term trickle-down. I like the idea that we all stand on the shoulders of giants. We all stand on the shoulders of atlases, to refer you back to Atlas Shrugged. There are people out there who are incredibly productive. There are people out there who are incredibly smart. There are people out there who are incredibly knowledgeable. And they make life better for us by orders of magnitude. They make life better for the poor, for the middle class, for everybody. Much better. And without them, there would be no jobs for the poor. No jobs for the middle class. Without entrepreneurs, without inventors, without engineers, without the so-called rich, without those people in the top, I don't know, 1%, 10%. Where do you think jobs are going to come from? Who's going to, who's going to invent the next great thing? Oh, Bill Gates and, uh, and uh, all these rich entrepreneurs out there. They've got all this money. And we don't see any of it. What about there's no trickle down? Of course there's trickle down. You've got an iPhone. You've got an iPad. You've got all the technology. You've got an internet. Internet is a huge trickle down to you. To you who didn't invent the internet, I didn't invent the internet. A bunch of entrepreneurs did most of the work to commercialize it, to make it possible for me to use it. They made a lot of money at it. And who benefits from that? Me. I get to use the internet. What did I pay for it? Zero. Nothing. Nada. Of course, economics is about trickle down. Again, not trickle down. Flood down. Waterfall down. It is the great entrepreneurs, the great producers who make our economy run. Not the workers, sorry. I mean, workers are important. There's nothing against work. Work is good. Work is moral. Work is virtuous. But you don't change the world. The people who change the world, the people who make your work possible, the people who create the jobs, the people who have thoughts about how to take money and invent something completely new, and invest in something completely outrageous that nobody would have thought possible. And thereby creating jobs in some field that we can't even imagine today. It's that bioengineer that has an idea about how to cure cancer. He is going to change the world and impact everybody else. Talk, call it trickle down, call it flood down. He's going to make the lives of everybody who didn't invent this cure for cancer. Everybody's lives are better. And hopefully, he becomes super rich as a consequence. And then the left and some people on the right will say, Oh, he's got so much money. That's not right. We're not benefiting from all the money he has. We need more trickle down. You already got the trickle down. You got the drugs. You got the cure for cancer. That was the trickle down. And oh, by the way, not only did you get the drugs, the cure for cancer, you also got, you also got employment. He hired people to produce the drug. We've got people selling the drug. We've got massive quantities of employment. 
And on top of that, he's taken all his money that he's made and he's investing it, thus providing capital for other businessmen to create more jobs and more products and more benefits for your life and for my life. I mean, every way you slice this, every way you slice it, it is the successful, rich businessmen who create the goods and the jobs that we enjoy. All of them. 